In a recent video, we took a look at the AMD Radeon RX 6400, and we found that it was all right. And in an even more recent video, we took a look at how it compared to the other budget offerings by AMD. But you guys wanted to know how it compared to the older generations, so let's find out. Okay, so let's just jump straight into this. When you guys asked us to compare the new Radeon RX 6400 budget graphics card against an older generation, we weren't exactly sure which card to use until you gave us the answer. In a YouTube comment on one of those videos, you asked us to compare it to the Radeon RX 470, which quite luckily we actually had in inventory already. Now I wasn't 100% sure if this would actually make a good comparison until I started looking a little bit deeper into the specifications of both. Even though the two graphics cards are about three generations apart, equating to a six year difference, we found that actually there's quite a few similarities in both. Both cards are using four gigabytes of VRAM, and when you look at the pricing, there hasn't been a lot of change there either. The RX 470 was originally released with an MSRP of 159 pounds, Whereas the RX 6400 was supposed to have an MSRP of around £129, but you were lucky to actually get one of them. The actual price was more between £150 and £160, and it still is today. The two cards that we're going to be comparing is obviously our MSI Aero ITX RX 6400 that you would have seen in the video before. And if you didn't watch that video, make sure you wait to the end of this one because we'll link it at the end. Representing the older AMD generation, is this card. Now again we've done videos on this card in the past but it's been generally in isolation. This one was actually donated to our channel. It is an XFX model and it's actually not bad. To find out how they truly compare though well, obviously we needed to do some benchmarking so let's take a look at that and then we'll discuss how well they did. Both cards came very close in terms of performance when it came to Bat for Blood. Running in 1080p with a high preset, the RX 470 managed to average 60 frames per second, with the RX 6400 only just beating it with 62. This is of course within tolerance of the test, so we can pretty much class this as a draw, and things don't change much from here. In Death Stranding, both cards again came pretty close, with the RX 470 getting an average of 61 frames per second, and the RX 6400 just pulling away with 67. But this time, with a totally different story, when it came to the 1% lows, where the RX 6400 managed to get a much better result, providing a much smoother gameplay experience and demonstrating how the more modern RDNA 2 architecture is working. Up next was Doom Eternal, a game that generally runs well on most modern graphics cards, and one where the much older RX 470 pulled a pretty big lead. This result was actually quite surprising to us, but then in previous testing, we did notice that the RX 6400 seemed to struggle with this title. The RX 470 managed to get an average of 81 frames per second, which was excellent, and the RX 6400 trailed quite far behind with only 67. Red Dead Redemption 2 was the oldest game within our test suite, and so should have worked fine on both cards, but to our surprise showed a completely different picture. The RX 470 really started to show its age here, managing to only get an average of 36 frames per second, compared to the RX 6400's 50. Neither card in 1080p with a high preset could hit the magic target of 60 FPS, which was a real shame. The last game in our testing suite was Shadow of the Tomb Raider, another game that runs exceptionally well on AMD graphics cards, and just like some of the previous titles showed, the RX 470 still had some life left in it, beating the much newer RX 6400 by just 6 frames per second, it kind of made the RX 6400 look a little bit silly. So as we can see from the benchmarks, when it comes to performance, there's very little difference between these two cards, which is a little bit of a shame because we expected a lot more from the AMD Radeon RX 6400, specifically because it's obviously using a much newer architecture and that they're around the same price range. This kind of comparison shows that there's obviously not that much of an offering for people that actually spend around those kind of figures when upgrading, which does seem a little bit of a shame. But how far do these budget gamers need to go to find a decent upgrade? To find out, we've taken the results from both of these cards and compared it to the other offerings AMD have. And as we can see from the charts, the only real jump in performance for budget gamers is obviously going to be going to the RX 6600. Now that again is a little bit of a shame because gamers that generally like to spend around 150 to 200 pounds on the graphics cards are now gonna have to be spending roughly around 200 to 250. So everything's jumped up a little bit and that is a bit of a shame to see. You generally expect as generations go on that you start to get more performance per dollar, but obviously that isn't the case here. Now there are two ways of looking at this at the moment. The first is that there has been no progress for the budget gamers in this kind of area. You're pretty much still paying the same for the same amount of performance. The second though is a little bit more positive and we can actually look that at least we're not going backwards. Prices of graphics cards have increased rapidly over the last couple of years and maybe the expectation of what you should spend should have followed too. From this 
comparison though, we can take a few things. If you are currently a gamer sitting on an AMD Radeon RX 470 or even an RX 480, the Radeon RX 6400 is not an option for you and neither would be the RX 6500. Not unless you wanted to move up to the new architecture, but you are roughly gonna get the same performance. If you don't already have one of these graphics cards though, and you are looking at something from the AMD budget range, you can now know that the RX 6400 will give you a very similar performance to the RX 470. In some games beating it and in others not so much. But let us know in the comments below what you think of these two cards. Do you already have an RX 470 and have you been looking for an upgrade? Was this something that you were going to consider maybe until you watch this video or others? Or are you pretty happy with what you've got? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content and also drop this video a like so we know to do more and we'll catch you in the next one.